I'm going to spend this video talking about approaching the works of Thelonious Monk on the guitar. So for me, what, what conveys the tune is really the melody. I figure if I, if I stick with the melody, it's still going to sound like that tune. It won't just sound abstract like I'm playing changes. So take this to an introspection. Um, introspection goes like this. <laughs> So on. There's a chord in there that I wanted to look at. And it's a kind of an A chord, A, E, B flat, F. <laughs> but it's very abstract sound. It's, it's, it's like a symmetrical kind of sound. And I, on the recording, I sit there and I kind of meditate on this for a while. This tune coming on the Hudson, I find if you don't think of the melody, like, you'll just get lost instantly. It's not the type of form that you can count that easily, uh, but it is a type of form that works really well if you think about the, the way the phrases work. Um, so that, if I think about the melody like that and I just have that in my head, then I can just play, you know. There's a lot of these very unique sounds that, that just sort of pass by, but you can, you can stay on them and kind of see what you can find. Work has a whole bunch of these. There you go. Right? So that's the first phrase, is this. Then you got it. It can open up a whole world of musical ideas, you know? Monk's music has done that for me for my entire adult life, you know, practicing this music has always been a source of ideas, creativity, and inspiration.